It is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Today, I met up with Roman with Venture Customs outside Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He's gonna give us a tour of his newest camper van creation. Hey Patrick, thank you so much for having me back on your channel again. I'm excited to show you the new custom build that we did. We're now gonna name it the Summit Build. And this one is on a 170 inch wheelbase Sprinter chassis. This is a two wheel drive, might look like a four wheel drive. That's because we put a Van Compass two inch lift kit on it with the Sumo Springs and the upgraded shocks and all that jazz. But the customer also opted to get the Alvan uh, running boards. We teamed up with those guys. We teamed up with Camel Roof Rack to give them a sweet roof rack up top with a Fiamma awning on the side, LED bar and two solar panels, track pads, a ton of goodies up top that you can mess with too. So right off the bat, we'll start with the floor. We gave him a nice marine grade floor that has insulation in it. We finished it off with some nice rugged aluminum to protect your edges on this beautiful floor. On the inside of the cockpit, we have Regular stock, stock seats, but the customer is actually going to upgrade to the more comfortable Shieldman seats. We partnered up with those guys. It's going to be long journeys in these vans, so you want to stay comfortable as you're sitting for six to ten hours at a time. Overhead shelves. This is where we leave our window covers, insulated window covers from Van Essential. There's one right there. And the standard, you know, all the bells and whistles on this van from Mercedes factory. The seats are double bench seats that are CVC seats. They have, I put the adapters for the L-Track on the bottom of them that we bolted into the frame. So they're not going anywhere, but that allows you to move them up and down or pop them out. They also recline. You really wanted to keep his passengers comfortable. This is the best way to do it. On the walls, we have the AMA window. It opens up and gives you a bug screen that you can open up as well. And up top, we have more or this is the upper cabinet storage this gives you um, a great upper cabinet storage without hitting your head we designed it specifically so that you're not getting up and hitting it we edge band and laminate all of our cabinets and plywood and beautiful uh, formica or laminates uh, that keeps your plywood sealed up and lasting for a long time Above my head, we did a slightly different ceiling, slatted ceiling, and we gave them a Max Air Fan 7500 K Deluxe. We painted the trim black to kind of blend all the stuff in. Puck lights, and above the puck lights and the ceiling, we did spray foam slash thin slate insulation, the best insulation you can get on the van. And over here, we did a little control panel to house the battery monitor, the inverter controller, the C Level 2 gauge it's the most accurate sea level or the most accurate water gauge reader there is and the wabasa control as well as the heat pad gray water valve water heater buttons right here and the coffee you may ask what the coffee button does well customer came over our shop every time with the coffee mug we knew it was super important for him so we put this button for his coffee maker his beloved coffee maker which drops down for him right here. It also opens up. He can put his coffee beans up top, change out his water maker, and select what kind of espresso or coffee he wants for the day. Get that over with and simply press that button. It's a little loud, but it's super cool. And over here, we gave him an insect screen that drops down and then magnetizes over so you can hop in and out of your van without the bugs. On this side of the van, we gave him a cool little storage area for his golf clubs and et cetera. We can put out tracks down the road, whatever he wants to do. A massive storage bin for his goods. And then he has a couple doggos that he's gonna be bringing with him. So, you know, we have to take care of those guys. We'll laser etch some names in there for him. We gave him a big sink that we stuffed in here with the nice little cutting board that you can remove. Faucet that comes out. You can shower or rinse off your dogs outside. No need to bring that stuff inside. Good bit of counter space. We might add a flip up tongue on the end of the counter. That's gonna be one of the add-ons the customer can add. We don't like anything messy on your walls. We like to have a home vibe. So just simple light dimmer switch here. 110 volt outlet, USB plugs throughout the van. And up here is a 110 volt microwave. It's a Tundra microwave. It's RV friendly, so it doesn't have that 
initial surge that the regular microwaves do. Below that we have a huge fridge, a pretty big freezer section still taped up, but right now it's just some 12 volt compressor, super efficient, can run off the battery for days. Moving down here, we just have a huge amount of storage. Since we don't have the gray water tank, it all drains into the bottom of the van. And you can just drain that by simply hitting a button on the control panel. Over here, we have this beautiful shower that we scribed into the wall of the van as far possible that we can. Gave him a nice black hardware, a nice dry flush toilet that's removable. Um, that kind of diaper genie toilet, super easy, no mess. You can get a wet in here. A teak floor that's unhoused on top of our stainless steel shower pan that makes this shower absolutely waterproof for as long as the van will last. This is a self-drying shower door. I forget the name of it. Uh, and then the walls, we did something different. They're like granite marble style sheets that are super durable and can also take any kind of harmful chemicals to clean off, as well as recessing this beautiful LED light to light up and kind of keep the light that's going, make it feel nice and spacious in here. As we step up on the little step here, we gave him some more storage because we did the dinette system. This is actually one of the first ones we've done in a while. Uh, you lose a lot of your underbed storage that you would have here. So we gave him some storage down here, a ton of storage in the upper cabinets. Uh, also ran the plumbing and the electrical down there. But he also gets a lot of storage where his water system lies. He has 33 gallons of fresh water that he can house in here. Uh, a little cup holder here as you're sitting slash armrest to put his coffee cups in. Another four more USB ports over there with a 110 volt outlet. We have two more windows. I like how high you're sitting here so that we raise it because um, the windows are right next to you. You can open them up, you have a little screen. Let some of that beautiful natural air come in while you're sleeping or sitting. As you see, the upper cabinets have a ton of storage. So we made up for that uh, loss of underbed storage with these nicely sized upper cabinets. And you got more over here. They're all locked in with the RV drawer catchers so that your stuff is not flying all over the place while you're driving or off-roading. So what we have in here is the 560 amp hour electrical system. We had to kind of squeeze it all in here and make sure that it's all properly breakered, fused. There's two ways of uh, fusing and protecting everything so that there's no way this can catch on fire. And it's a pretty robust, we call it a get out, stay out system. You can run that air conditioner for up to 30 hours on eco mode off of that and yeah, stay out there for as long as you need to. The air conditioner makes that possible because it's 12 volt air conditioner, Dometic, uh, and then you can also run it on eco mode. We really like them. It cools down this space super easily. Um, so let me show you the under foot storage here. There's a ton of space for little things in there and it's grain matching with the same marine grade lawn seal flooring. The customer actually requested to have this dinette system and he can also use the two little couch systems as like single beds. Uh, we also gave him the option to transform it into a full queen bed if he wanted to. I can show you that real quickly with these little fold out platforms that we provided with the van. Just tuck it underneath this side, then this side, then you take your cushion one, two, and you're done. You have a nice comfy queen size mattress that you can make into your bed. And once you're done, you just fold this piece and there's so much storage in this van that you could store it in here or in one of your massive cubbies, like this one right here. This one right now has some of the other ones and like the toilet thing, but he has a lot of gear that he's gonna be bringing with him, mostly traveling up and down the coast. So that's one of my favorite parts about the dinette system is you can just walk in and out clearly. You can actually take that lagoon table and put it over here 
use it outside, flip it upside down, use it down here. Uh, very versatile piece. You can also take the second table that's over there too and have both and make seating position or a dining table pretty much for like six people if you wanted to. Uh, over here we have the shower, outside shower setup. If you don't want to use your inside shower, there's also a little city inlet. And then if you want to have your city inlet in with the bugs out, you can use that little access hole. There's another 110 volt outlet here. It's a nice 20 amp GFI. That's a breaker, easy to reset. And then we gave them a bug screen in the back so you can have all the Vanzo doors open and relax without the bugs. And of course, we wrapped the van with some exterior gear like the Alvan ladder with the tire carrier. And the gray water tank that I mentioned earlier is underneath the van. It's heated, the lines are heated, and it has a gray water valve that dumps the 18 gallons at a touch of a button. Awesome tour today, Roman. Thank you very much for taking the time to meet me out here. I love this van conversion. What's the base price? And we saw a lot of upgrades here. Is there even more things you could do to it? Yeah, yeah, so this van has a ton of upgrades. Uh, this is like the Summit build. It starts at 64,000 and the kitchen's usually bigger because that seat's usually smaller. But yeah, there's a ton of upgrades you can do for this one. I'll make sure I put links in the description so our viewers can cook along and check out how to build one themselves. This is Patrick from New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us. See you guys.